Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day today. I want to go over something and kind of bring up something I went over a couple months ago when I was discussing ChatGPT. I actually did a hands-on with it and then covered a plugin or extension that you could add to GNOME and bring ChatGPT right into Linux. I threw my hands up at this time because what ChatGPT has become is not what it was initially set out to be and I brought up that I didn't trust chat GPT I didn't trust the AI I think we need to have something open source something that we can inspect and make sure that whatever this AI is doing we can see what it's doing and I had people that agreed with me and then I had some other people disagree with me I even had a youtuber a fellow Linux youtuber pretty much call me ignorant now one of the reasons I wanted to bring this up is because a lot of people don't understand that OpenAI was actually co-founded by Elon Musk. And the initial thing that he wanted for OpenAI was to create an open source, which is why he named it OpenAI, nonprofit company to serve as a counterweight to Google. But the problem is, is he stepped down. He sold his shares and he got out of it in 2017. And now he's out slamming it, saying he's going to launch a rival to the Microsoft-backed chat GPT which is going to be called Truth GPT. It's going to be completely open, and I'm really excited to see that. But what I want to discuss today is I have actually been changed up and been using the Brave browser now, and I really enjoy it. I still have Firefox as a staple, but Brave has actually introduced the Summarizer, which is an AI tool for synthesized relevant results. So you kind of getting an AI feel in it. It's using large language models to give you better search results, or as they say it, more um, honed in search results. And you can go through here and it gives you some explanations of what's going on and, and it's using the web results and it enables the summarizer to provide real time information that is up to date with today's current events, giving the current advancements in AI. Now, if you go through and read some of what's in this article, this is actually on Brave.com. I'll link this below in the video. It goes over some things, and then at the very bottom, it gives you footnotes. And right down here, it says the base LLM models are based on either BART or DBERTE, which are both open source and hosted on Hugging Face with heavy retraining based on their own data from search results. So if you go over and take a look at BART, it lets you know right here the BART model was proposed in BART denoising sequence to sequence pre training for natural language generation, translation, and comprehension, and gives you the names and the date. And then, according to the abstract, BART uses a standard Seek to Seek machine translation architecture. The pre training task involves randomly shuffling the order of the original sentences. And BART is particularly effective when fine tuned for text generation, but also works well for comprehensive tasks. And then it gives you some tips down here. And then right here, the model was contributed by SSH Leafer and the author's code can be found here. You can go over and look at the source code. They're not hiding it, they're not locking it down, they're not making it proprietary, and they're not trying to steal money or steal your info. Now, also, DBERTA, let's go over here. It lets you know that DBERTA is a transformer based neural language model that aims to improve the BERT and Roberta models with two techniques, a disentangled attention mechanism and an enhanced mask decoder. It gives you a lot of different information. You can go down here, you can look at it on GitHub, you can go look at the code of anything you want here, and then you can see the code right here, read the papers on it. They're being completely transparent. Now what I pointed out in my previous videos about chat GBT and OpenAI. I thought it was just disingenuous for OpenAI to be called OpenAI any longer. When Elon stepped down and they closed it and made it a for-profit company, I think the open should have been taken out of their name. But that's neither here nor there. We know what they're doing with this information. They're using Copilot that is also made by OpenAI to scrape GitHub and steal code. I've proved that in previous videos as well. And they're just using it to ingest everything they can so that they can continue to market to us and find different ways to make money off of us and our information. Now, I do like the fact that Brave has given us the summarizer. I like the fact that they're using code that is open source to use for their AI models. And I like the fact that not only are they using it, we can go over and 
pull it up, we can read about it, we can go look at the code if we want to, and it's right there. I said in my previous video about AI, it's dangerous if it's locked down and we don't know what it's doing. If we can see the code and we have something that's open, that's great. I'm looking forward to somebody making an extension for GNOME using the philosophies of BART and DBERTA so that we can use that on Linux as opposed to something that has Microsoft just baked into it and funded and really is just controlled by Microsoft. I think this is a great step forward for open source AI, and I want to keep following on it. I want to do more videos on it in the future, but I will definitely keep you all updated on the leaps and bounds that this makes, and uh, definitely stay on top of what Elon's going to do with an open source AI that he wants to do with Truth GPT. Uh, if you've got any statements you want to make or you got any questions about this video, please drop those in the comments below, and I'll try my best to get back with you. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like the channel. Likes keep me in YouTube's algorithm, which means if you found the information in this video helpful, somebody else out there might as well. And subscribe. Doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. As always, thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.